Hello generals and welcome to Miniatus Gaming in a new episode of the Rise of Ukraine series. Today in today's episode the conquest of the Middle East where I am going to push forward to try to um, to clean this huge mess that is happening in this region. A lot of Mozambique lands mixed with insurgencies, mixed with rogue state. It's, it's chaos, it's chaos. This is why now today we are going to focus and use our variety of air force to be able to control this um, area. The Ukrainian air force composed of the Mosquitoes, the attack helicopters and the Suhoi Frogfoot um, elite attack aircrafts and also the air superiority fighters. I'm going to deploy them all to kill any Mozambique land forces in this region and also to kill all movements of in insurgencies in this region. Uh, meanwhile, this is Mozambique. This is his homeland cities. I uh, nuked his city of Longwe and uh, Dodoma in the last part, of course, where we launched some nuclear cruise missiles from our naval patrol aircrafts. He still has uh, an airbase in this city of Nairobi. I have only now cruise missile that I can use and I can launch from my naval patrol aircrafts. So I'm going to wait for the right moment to use it. These green notifications, they are my elite attack aircrafts annihilating uh, the insurgencies. Uh, in my colony, in my African colony, the city of Luanda, I'm going to start making the mobile arteries. Like I said in uh, the previous episode, I am going to prepare an army from the western flank of Mozambique and my uh, spearhead is going to begin from this area. Look at the insurgencies here, boys. Looks like Rogue State is going to take over my annexed city of Pointe Noire, but well, it's only uh, three hours for my National Guard to be ready there. I hope uh, the Rogue State does not jump on my city before the National Guard is deployed. Now I have the level 6 mobile Samnages with the feature of Stealth Reveal. Yeah, finally, because you know that Mozambique has the Stealth uh, Bombers, so I needed, I needed so much the level 6 mobile sum launches to be able to detect Stealth units and have also a good upgraded defense versus missiles. So yeah, now my mobile sum launches, they are reliable, they are good, they are very strong. Now uh, I will uh, push forward my second anti-air wing, uh, anti-air division. I will upgrade my mobile arteries to level 5 because, uh, of course, level 5 will be having the range, the attack range of uh, 85, which is going to be useful, extremely useful. This is our uh, British colony, the United Kingdom, where, of course, the United Kingdom was under heavy fire from the bombers, the stealth bombers of Mozambique. He launched a lot of nukes, a lot of cruise missiles, but United Kingdom is still standing, is still alive. Let's have a look about the world here. Sweden has taken over all of North America. This is his rank and he is at war with United States of America. Look at this. South America is all under Venezuela. Whoa. Venezuela is the third player or the second after me. So basically here Venezuela is going solo as well and he already have all of South America. So... Um, it's not only about Mozambique this game boys. We don't know when Venezuela is going to arrive soon and pay us a visit because he is going to see that I'm going in solo and I am very close to the solo win. So I expect a surprise attack from Venezuela and also Mozambique is not dead yet. We killed a few of his armies in Turkey, we killed some of his air force but that's not all that, uh, that Mozambique possesses. It's not all his armies, just a small portion. So in this episode, we are going to see our conversation with uh, Mozambique and also we are going to try to think and anticipate what is going to be the next move of Mozambique because he is uh, extremely active, he is playing daily this game, he did not surrender yet because I can see his movements, I can see that uh, in his cities he keeps on fixing his buildings, he keeps on building new things, so I can understand that uh, Mozambique is up to something. But I cannot know that only if I am cautious. I move slowly with a lot of um, cautiousness. And of course I will anticipate any movement from him because uh, I do not want to move reckless. Yes, I did an amazing counter-attack here in Turkey. But this doesn't mean that I won the battle. I doesn't mean that I won the game yet. So we are so far from winning it. But meanwhile, I'm trying to get and gather as much lands as possible because gathering um, lands is going to make me 
few steps closer to the solo win, which is going to put the other players under pressure because no, I am the first one, I am heading for the solo win. Other players when they are going to see me moving directly with a high speed to the solo win, they are going to be stressed. They will try to do reckless things they are going to do to kill the Ukrainian kingdom. But I am well prepared for any uh, surprise invasion. I have the Air Force now and the good thing about Air Force is that they are fast to be deployed. So whenever you are going to open the game and find an enemy which is embarking inside your lands or making a surprise attack or something our air superiority fighters with the speed of 16 is going to be swiftly deployed to the battlefield which is going to be a good good thing for our army okay uh, Limassol is empty now my um Meliodas elite helicopter wing has uh, killed any kinds of insurgencies in the city. Now I'm going to send a national guard to take it. Of course, my rotary wing officer always needed needs to be escorted by uh, the Sin of Wrath air ace because both of them like that. If anyone sneaks with air superiority fighters or something, my air ace is going to be ready to uh, defend my wing officer. Now there is a wave of rogue state trying to emerge inside my cities. And uh, the good thing that I have my national class. Let's have a look at my chit chat with Mozambique. So I said, he said I should have chosen better allies. Well, I agree. And he also said, but I still have a few cards to play. You're easily one of the best players I have seen in the game. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Mozambique, this is so cute from you. Well, now here I'm trying to tell him that um, I am uh, Miliada Gaming on YouTube and he is going to see himself on YouTube. Well, you uh, gave us an amazing show. Everyone loved this series because Mozambique has gave us tough time. He gave us a big battle. He gave us a lot of uh, pleasure. So yeah, this name is going to be known. This name is going to be known in the conflict of nations uh, communities. Okay, let's keep uh, moving forward with our mobile artilleries. You see, uh, we uh, smoked those rogue states in the city of Rutba and also Damascus. My national guards, they entered those uh, empty cities after they, wo they were heavily bombarded with my um, artilleries. That's a good thing about artilleries that from distance they are going to do wonders. They can do wonders, they can kill thousands of armies from distance, no matter how much tanks you have. No matter how much inventories you have, when your enemy has artilleries, he can attack you from distance till the morning and he will wipe all of your army. Well, look at this. Look at this, boys. Mozambique has lost his capital. And look at this huge mess. He relocated his headquarters inside, but he lost Maputo. Losing Maputo, he reduced his morale significantly. His morale is well reduced even in his homeland cities. Now we can say that this is a huge blow for the uh, Mozambique economy and also the Mozambique resources production and troops mobilization. Losing your capital in day 83 is going to be um, a heavy hit for you. No, seriously. Now, if Ukraine loses Kiev, or not Kiev, well, now Grodno, my capital, if I lose it now, I cannot imagine what will happen to my country. It's going to be wrecked. Well, now it's time to uh, plant some counter ops. I'm gonna need them because uh, Mozambique keeps on uh, planting some sabotage agents in all of my cities. So yeah, I will plant some counter ops here and defend my cities from those sabotage uh, agents. He, uh, he uh, destroyed my arms industries with uh, his sabotage agents. I actually forgot to plant more. Uh, counter ops, so now uh, I will plant a lot, even in my African colony in the city of Luanda. Well, boys, like uh, you, you saw that Mozambique said that he has still cards to play. What do you think his card, what do you think he is going to do in the next episode? Well, we will find out in the next episode. <laughs> bye bye, boys.